Good day, my great subscribers. I appreciate you all. And I also appreciate new subscribers. Thank you, guys. Uh, I also wish some of my viewers who can subscribe, like, make some comments, and also share the video. Now, what we want to do is to find the value of log 4 base 2 log 1 over 9 base 3 log 1, 1 128 base 4 log 0 0.04 base 5 log a to 2 power 3 base a log 8 base square root of 2 now there are there is a fastest way to do this now, before we proceed to doing to to do this particular problem, I will. Uh, there is a very fast way. But before we do that, I will state the short method. I will state it after stating the short method. I will. I will prove that method. Then. I will prove that that statement that log reading rule applies and how it applies so let's begin now for us to do that i will just state the rule the rule is that when you have log let's say you have log a to power m base a to power n this is the same thing as saying this is equal to n m divided by n now let's prove this rule let's prove it now for us to make to prove this law now if you say log a to to power m this a to n let's say is is equal to t and let's let okay uh, let me just say let's log this be equal to this and let's log n be equal to let's say x and Sorry, not log. Let's a to the power n be equal to x and a to the power of m be equal to y. Now, having stated this, having stated this, having stated this, we will not say, we will not say that log, we will not rewrite, say log y base x is equal to t now this statement if you now use to reconvert this to indices you know according to the law of indices now if you have log a base b equal to x is same thing as log is same thing as b to power x is equal to a now according to this rule we will now say log y base x equal to t is the same thing as saying x to power t is equal to y now substituting the values we assumed for we substituting the real values of x which is this into this equation you have a to power n which is x all to power t is equal to a to power m which is your own y now according to the law of indices indices if you write half n a to the power n all to the power of t is the same thing as saying a to the power n times t so this is the same thing now 
if this is the same, then we have applying this rule of the, this rules of indices, you will now have a to the power n t, which is equal to a to the power n. Since the bases are the same, we equate the powers. So the powers will be n t is equal to n. Now, dividing both sides by n, you have, you have t equal to m all over n. Now, which implies that, now, if you now look at this expression here, so this is our t. Our t is equal to m all over n. So if you, do, if you apply, if I put it here, you should now have m all over n. So we're going to be using this rule. So this rule is what will make your answer faster. Now let's look at question A. For question A, you have log 4 base 2. Now changing this log, if you now say log, now say log 4 is the same thing as 2 to the power 2. 2. So this 2 is 2 to the power 1. So this is the same thing as saying, if you, if you now look at that rule, now if you if we apply that rule, say log a to the power m base a to the power n, which is equal to m all over n. Now, if you check our m in that equation, our m is equal to 2, y n is equal to 1. So if you say, say 2 all over 1, which is equal to 2, so for a. Then for b, we have log 1 all over 9 to base 3. This is the same thing as saying, you know, when you have, according to the law of indices, 1 all over 9 is the same thing as saying 9 to the power minus 1. And 9 is the same thing as 3 to the power 2 all to the power minus 1. So this will give you 3. To, when you now multiply using the law of indices where you have a to the power m all to the power n is the same thing as a to the power m n. So if we apply this law of indices, you now have 3 to the power 2 all in parentheses to the power minus 1 is all is will now be equal to 3 to the power minus 2. You know, there is a law of indices where you have a all over 1 is the same thing as a to the power minus 1. Now, having done this, we can now apply this information here. So now you have log 3 to the power minus 2 base 3. So when you look at this, when you look at this, if you want to apply that rule now, say log a to the power m base a to the power n, if you look at it now, you will now see that your m is equal to minus 2 and your n is equal to 1, because this is raised to power 1. So you have minus 2 all over 2, all over 1, sorry which is equal to minus 2. That is the answer. So, now, when you look at um, the C, which is log 128 base 4. So, if I look at this, the answer, I can just know the answer straight, off on, straight on. This is 7 all over 2. So, now, let's do it. 7 all over 2. See, now, you know, you have 128. 128 is the same thing as 2 times 64. And 2 times 64 is the same thing as, is same thing as 8 times 8. Now, this will give you 2 times 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power 3. See? 
this 8 is 2 to the power 3 and this other 8 is also 2 to the power 3 so you have 1 here so if you are for the law of indices if you are multiplying you have 2 to the power 1 plus 3 plus 3 now since the bases are the same you add the power so that is what we did here which is 2 to the power 7 now for 4 you have 2 to the power 2 so if you don't apply that rule where you have log a to the power m to base a to the power n you have m all over n now if you apply it you see that your m is equal to 7 while your n is equal to 2 so that means this is correct so so from here and here you now have log 128 base 4 as the same thing as log 2 to the power 7 to base 2 to the power 2 which is equal to 7 all over 2 now let's look at the d the d you have log 0 0.04 base 5 so this will give you minus 2 straight on i don't need to solve just straight on i will know it's minus 2 now let's solve it now you have 0 0.04 which is the same thing as saying now 0 0.04 all over 1 now if we try to make this okay let's say let me use an elementary method of doing it if not i would have just now this you have a decimal point here for us to remove the decimal point we will now move how many steps two steps you have one two so we'll move it to this place now what you do to the top you also do it under so there is an imaginary point here now you move one two you move the same step you move up and same step down here so you have zero zero so the point will be here now you now have up here four all over 100 four divide itself is one four divide 100 is 25 so you have one all over 25 now this is the same thing as saying according to the law of indices where you have one all over a is the same thing as a to the power minus one so this it will not be written as 25 to the power minus one and 25 is equal to 5 to the power 2 now applying that here you have 5 to the power 2 all to the power minus 1 now let's okay i clicked erase now let's go back sorry i erased it so now let's go back let's do it back i mistakenly erased the so you have 0 0.04 which is same thing as 0 0.04 all over one is the same so moving the, the step you, you move up you move down so i want to move this point one two i want to move it to this point so that this one will be a unit now there will be no decimal here now now the same step i move the the decimal point here is what i also do so i move there is an imaginary point here i move it to one two so you have two zero so now you have four all over 100 now four divide this self is one four divide this is 25 so you have one all over 25 now you know according to the law of indices you have one all over a is the same thing as a raised to power minus one now and also 25 okay let me just apply that let me apply that first so this will be equal to one all over 25 which is the same sorry mm. okay 
um, let me see this is from this rule here now according to this rule here now this is equal to 25 raised to power minus 1 now 25 25 is the same thing as 5 to the power 2 now applying that rule here you now have 5 to the power minus 5 to the power 2 brackets to the power minus 1 now Now, 5 to the power 2 all to the power minus 1. According to the law of indices, where you have a to the power m all to the power n is the same thing as a to the power m times n. So, that means this will now be 5 to the power 2 times minus 1. So 2 plus 2 times minus 1 will give you 5 to the power minus 2. Now, having gotten this, this one is 5 to the power 1. So we have log 5 to the power minus 2, 5. So, you know, I said this is minus 2. So this will now be, according to that rule, you have, um, you have log 5 my to the power minus two base five will now be minus two all over one which is this which is minus two that is the final answer then let's look at e e is log a to the power three base a this will be three because according to that log a to the power m base a to the power m is equal to m all over n where m is equal to 3 and n is equal to 1 here is 1 so that is it so now i can just straight away we can just do look at this is all here so now let's look at f f will have log 8 to be square root of 2 this will give us 6 straight away straight away you know is 6 you just say log 8 is 2 to the base, 2 to the power 3 ah, this one is 2 to the power half so this will give you 3 all over 1 all over 2 this is 3 times 2 all over 1 which is okay let me not be so fast like that let's not be full fast this 3 divided by 1 all over 2 is something as 3 divided by 1 over 2 you change this sign to times you say 3 times you reverse this you say 2 all over 1 which is equal to 6 that is 3 times 2 which is 6 so that is how about this so now you can see it's very simple so thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Please, please subscribe, like, comment, and share to others. Thank you.